Uh, hello, everyone, and welcome to our webinar. Today's topic uh, is oil field equipment inspections. Um, let me introduce myself. My name is Dasha, I'm marketing coordinator, and I will be hosting this webinar for you today. Uh, you can follow us on social media to keep up to date with the latest company news, uh, events, as well as industries updates. Uh, now you can see our social profiles on the screen. Just push follow button and stay in touch. Let me introduce you to our speakers. Today you will learn everything about rental equipment inspections in Riga from Arsene, our software consultant, Indra, our user support lead, and Gleb, our VP of operations. Um, just a quick overview of what we're going to discuss today during this webinar. We will talk about inspections management. In particular, we will discuss inspections triggers, equipment statuses, inspection workflow. We will learn more about inspection templates, inspection cards, repair tickets, and how Rigger handles pre and post job inspections, quality control, and repairs. You will also see what repair reports can be generated in Rigger. Before we start, for those who don't know much about us, I would like to make a short introduction. Rigger is a flagship product of Belka Soft Corporation, which is a rapidly growing company offering software development and management consulting services for medium-sized oil field service and equipment rental businesses. So what is Rigger as a product? It is a platform that has cloud application that you can access through a desktop, which is fully supported by mobile applications. Now we have a suite of mobile applications depending on the functions of your operations in the oil field. From general, uh, general dispatch to the sales and operations and purchases, in order to make you able to do many different operations way in the field and connect them to your main cloud database through the internet. Uh, Rigger also has a number of uh, user-specific or sub-industry specific applications. They include rental equipment distribution, downhole tool solutions, waste management, flowback, uh, telecommunication tools management, and others. Um, we have most of our clients in Canada and US, uh, and the number is growing, which is good. Uh, so I wanted to show you some of the companies that we've been working with and enjoy helping with the operations management. They vary in terms of the size and the type of equipment and the focus of the operations. And uh, thank you to uh, thank you our clients. So um, now I guess we will start. I will pass microphone to Gleb and he will start with inspections management. Thank you very much, Dasha, and uh, uh, hello everyone. Uh, we're glad to hear to hear and to see you actually here during this webinar today. Uh, so we are going to talk the ins uh, about the inspection management process uh, generally, and uh, during this webinar we will also show you how practically you will uh, do the inspections in rigor. So how documents work, how um, you operate the system. Before we start uh, diving deeper to the topic, I'd like to just to do the quick uh, overview of the inspection management process in Rigor. And uh, definitely every company that runs the uh, rental equipment in the oil field, they, will, uh, they need to uh, maintain the equipment, do the repairs of the equipment, and uh, pretty frequently do the inspections of the equipment. Uh, just to maintain the uh, full um, ca capability of this equipment. So in terms of documents that can generate an inspection uh, process in rigor, we have uh, four documents in place. Uh, so at the different stages of the operations, we can do the inspection for the equipment. For example, the bill of lading, which is the document that is included in the purchase module of rigor, can be a trigger for generating inspections. Uh, for some companies, we've seen the situation when they do the uh, inspections of the equipment once it's arrived from the vendor or manufacturer, so they inspect it on their site and uh, stamp it as ready to be rent for the jobs. Uh, some of the companies, they do uh, usual and regular inspections when they every single time move the equipment between different locations or submitting it to the client or maybe even when they do the intercompany movement, uh, transferring the equipment from one shop to another one and just to make sure that equipment is still ready uh, for the job after these kind of movements, uh, they do the inspections of the equipment. 
Also, uh, some of the companies, they prefer to do the inspection even after the uh, assembling the uh, complex uh, unit, uh, complex equipment units, when they combine uh, several items and several components into one uh, big item and uh, they submit it to the client. So again, to make sure the equipment is ready uh, to work, uh, they do the inspection. And the very standard and pretty frequent way how we do the inspections uh, is the uh, delivering the equipment to the client's locations, which is done by rental tickets in rigor. So the rigor has capability of running the inspections uh, upon the delivery or after the return of the equipment and even when the equipment stays in the field so we can inspect our equipment as well. Now for the purpose of tracking the status of the equipment uh, we have different uh, status of, of every individual unit number in the system or asset number if you prefer. So once you run the inspection for the equipment in rigor, the unit number gets the uh, particular status. So we'll show you a little bit later how many steps and how many stages of the inspection you can have. But on that slide, you see that uh, the unit number can be in a different statuses. For example, it can be for inspection if we just move the unit for inspection actually and generate an inspection card for it or it can be for service if we have the next stage of the inspection which may be a quality control so uh, the unit can get the status for service and if the result of the inspection is come uh, turns out that we need to repair of our equipment if it's been broken or just a little bit damaged so we can generate um, repair cards and move uh, the uh, rental unit and particular unit number to the new repair status. So again, it allows um, dispatchers or operation team uh, understands at what part, at what what kind of uh, condition our our units are. So uh, let me quickly show you the uh, quick uh, the general. Uh, job inspection workflow. When we return the equipment, uh, the system will generate inspection cards for all the unit numbers that are on that delivery ticket or uh, rental ticket return. And the inspection cards will be generated based on the inspection templates with a checklist uh, previously set up. Again, as I already said, depending on the result of the inspection, we can have uh, different consequences. In case of the, uh, if the inspection result is good, we will move the rental unit to the available status or ready to rent, and uh, it will be available for the next job. But if we see that equipment has been damaged, as I already said, we move, we generate a repair ticket out of the inspection card and the system will do it uh, automatically transferring all the information information from the inspection card to the repair repair card unit gets the uh, the status of need repair and once the if the company has a quality control stage after the inspection done by maybe a quality control department so we can generate a quality control card and again uh, once this is done and everything is completed, we move unit to the available status. So the inspection process can be different in, in many situations and um, every single company considers the inspection as their own specific uh, procedure, uh, how to inspect the unit at what stage and who needs to be notified about the uh, next action and a, a current action as well. So depending on these different um, varieties, we can build a customized uh, flow uh, for your company. So we can um, we can uh, put in place some kind of controls or notifications to a particular person. Uh, according to the general flow. So for example, if the inspection card has been generated, the 
uh, shop manager or shop technician will be notified that this unit should be inspected and he goes do the inspection and then next person will be notified about the consequences for example if it's need repair we will do the repair etc so our system allows us to customize this process and put different controls and approval process in place now let's uh, come closer to the uh, practical part of the inspection process and I will ask Indra to tell about this. Thank you, Gleb. Hello, my name is Indra and I'm support technician here in Riga. I will speak about inspection card templates today and how to create an inspection card template in Riga system. In this slide, you can see an example of inspection card templates in Rigger. On the right side picture is an inspection card template for first stage, the main inspection. And on the left side is the second stage of inspection card template, a quality control. Each inspection card template may have different type of parameters, uh, checklist for the inspection procedure, depending on your process in, in your company. And now I will show you how to create inspection card template in Rigger system. Rigger system allows to create inspection card templates with different parameters for rental units. To create a new inspection card template, you have to go to all field rentals on yellow Rigger menu line and under inspection section, select an inspection card template. Here you can see an inspection card template journal. There is a list of all existing inspection card templates in rigor. Create a new, click create button. A new inspection card template creation windows will pop up. So in the new inspection card template window, you have to add a description and name for inspection card. So let's just name it. for generators. The next step, you can select for which department this inspection card template will be used. So if rental unit uh, listed in this inspection card template will be moved from uh, main shop to client's location or uh, to another shop, inspection card will be generated automatically based on this template. Now let's select a document after which generation and posting uh, in rigor system, this inspection card template will be used and inspection card will be generated automatically. You have a list of different type of documents. There's rental tickets, bill of lading, assembly list, intercompany transfer. Let's select in rental ticket and then for each document, you can select a different type of this document. For example, for rental ticket, you can select delivery type, return, service, made and disposal. If you select delivery, it means that when a rental ticket delivery will be generated in system from the department main shop, so the rental units will be moved from department main shop and inspection card will be generated based on this template. The next step is to select a type of this inspection card template. So there are two stages of inspections in rigor. So the first stage of inspection and the second stage is a quality control. So you need to select this for which stage of inspection this inspection card will be used. Then let's move to add a rental units for which this inspection card will be used. You can add one by one rental unit or you can select a group of rental units and it will be added automatically. If we select, we can select, uh, click button add. It will add a new line and select a rental unit. Next step, actually in this step, you can select a list of rental units for which inspection card template will be used. The next step would be go, uh, to go to parameters tab and here to set a different parameter parameters for inspection. So it will be uh, separate steps for 
skill technician to check during this inspection procedure. So you click add, you enter a parametric name, and then you can select a different type of data used in this, for this parameter. So the text will allow field technician to enter a comment. The Boolean is used for questions with yes or no answers. You can have a field uh, where you can enter numbers. Uh, the next parameter type can be foil level and separator is used to separate the group of parameters. So in this case, let's select foil level. So when all parameters are added, and all rental units are selected, you can save inspection card template. It is important to mention that we have one more type of inspection in rigor and it's internal inspections. And when you're generating an inspection card template, if you click internal inspection checkbox, it means that you can use this template for internal inspections. When you will be you will be generating an inspection card manually for internal inspection, you will be able to select this inspection card template from the list for internal use. So when everything is entered, all parameters uh, added, all rental units selected, you can click save and close and save this inspection card template in the system. All right, thank you very much, Indre. Uh, so I, I would just to uh, recoup that. This is actually what we've showed is the template that you will be using uh, when you do the uh, actual inspection cards. So you set the templates once and then the system will understand for this kind of ticket, this type of ticket, and for that particular equipment, we need to use that particular template so the system will select it automatically based on the settings that you've set and then we are coming to the next uh, part which is the inspection card itself when uh, you do the inspection for a particular unit number and Arsen is going to cover this uh, topic in a second okay let's talk about the inspection card and the inspection register Inspection card is a document that is used for the inspection of the particular unit. For example, when a return ticket is generated and the status of the document is set for inspection, the inspection card and the inspection register are automatically generated in the system and can be used for further action. On the other hand, the inspection register is a, is a document that uh, holds the information about all the inspections uh, pertaining to a particular ticket. So let's see what the inspection card looks like. This is the inspection card. It has all the information based on the template that we have selected and you can use it for, to do an inspection. And let's see what a register looks like. This is an uh, inspection register. It has all the information pertaining to the particular rental ticket. So we have the uh, actual item here, we have the unit number, we have the inspection card that was generated for that particular unit number. We also have information about the inspector, the inspection status, and the inspection result. So let's go to a rental ticket, type return, and see how we can generate an inspection card and do an inspection. Now this is a rental ticket type return, and when the status of the rental unit which we are returning by the way, this is the light tower. When the status, uh, when the condition of this unit is set to good, we can go to the status of the document and set it to inspection. Now, when I do this, the system automatically generates the inspection card and the inspection register documents for me. Let's go to the related documents of this particular rental ticket and open the inspection card. Now, when we open the inspection card, we will need to do all the inspections on the documents. So let's check this checkboxes. 
Then we will need to check the inspection result, which can be either a good need repair or damage. In case of need repair, a repair ticket will be generated in the system. And in case of the damage, the particular item will be written off our balances. Let's select condition good to return this unit to our uh, inventory for further dispatch. Now inspection result is set to good and all we need to do is just to set the status of the document, the inspection card to done and post this document in the system and the unit becomes available for further dispatch. This is everything there is to uh, doing an inspection. So I hope this helped. Okay, thank you Arsene, it helped. And I think that uh, there is a little bit clear right now how we process the inspection uh, that are re the result of the uh, client's job. But uh, at the same time, we can have an internal inspections um, in our operations. So when the companies, uh, they just want to, to inspect the equipment that, are, that is sitting on their yard or in the shop and just to inspect it for the upcoming jobs. For these uh, kind of operations, we have uh, insp internal inspection templates as um, Inter already uh, showed us. And this is the uh, workflow of the internal inspection. So again, when you have an inspection card and it has a check box um, in check mark of internal, we can uh, do the repair as the result of the inspection or just move the unit to the available status. So as you can see, this is pretty much simple and just straightforward operation. So uh, again, how you do the inspection card uh, for the internal uh, operation, you just uh, check mark the internal um, inspection. And again, the particular and according, according to this setting, the particular template will be applied. So the system will capture this event as just an internal inspection and record it in the um, history. So this inspection will not be connected to a particular client's job. Now uh, we've covered the general inspection cycle, but we also can have a quality control stage after the inspection. And Indra, please uh, tell us about this a little bit. Thank you, Gleb. So let's talk about quality control inspection stage in rigor. Actually, there are two different stages of the inspections in rigor, the main initial inspection and quality control. Second stage of inspections is optional. So this means that quality control is an advanced procedure and can be enabled or disabled in your rigor database, depending on your procedures and the company. If quality control feature is enabled in Trigger, the inspection card quality control is generated automatically after the inspection card is, the initial inspection card is posted. In the next slide, you can see an example of quality control inspection card. The only difference, uh, actually this are uh, the templates of inspection cards for quality controls. The only difference from the initial inspection card templates is the selection of inspection type. Uh, same as for initial inspection card template, for the quality control, you need to select a document type after which a quality control stage will, uh, inspection will be used and add uh, rental units and set the parameters. So in the next slide, we can see uh, the parameters of quality control inspection cards. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Indra. Um, yes, actually, the quality control, as you said, is is the optional thing. So no, no nobody can have it uh, like um, mandatory in the system. So we can enable it or disable. It depends on the client's. Um, inspection processes so but that's just an opportunity in the system okay now we've come to the Q&A session of our presentation it's, we are just a little bit in the after in uh, the middle of the presentation so uh, Dari do we have any questions uh, yes we actually do uh, so the first question is from John thank you John uh, the question is can I generate inspection card manually Okay, uh, good question. So 
actually this the rigor system is designed in the way that um, particular actions are um, captured and done by particular documents. So if you want to do an inspection to the unit, you need to generate the document and based on the process, it can be inspection, as we said, before the job, like pre-job pre inspection, it can be post-job inspection, and it can be even um, inspection in the field while, while the rental equipment is, uh, is running. So it, it means that we need to generate some kind of document uh, to have an ability to, to, to run the inspection for the unit. So the, the short answer is um, we generate documents um, to do the inspections. Uh, thank you, Gleb. Uh, another question is, can we inspect our vehicles uh, like trucks? Yes, uh, this is also pos possible. Uh, because uh, vehicles or any transportation units as even trailers or just as a, a regular trucks uh, can be entered in this in, in the rigor database as a rental unit but there will be just a little bit a different type of this rental unit as a truck and we will be able to create a templates for these trucks as well so again when we would need to run the inspection for the truck. We would run it from some kind of document and uh, the system will, again, will capture this inspection event and record it in the history of this particular uh, transportation unit. Uh, thanks. And uh, one more question. Can the inspection be billable to the client? Uh, for example, if the client has damaged the equipment and we need to come to the client and inspect the equipment. Oh yeah, that's that's good question. And as as you have seen uh, on the inspection card itself, we don't have any uh, properties uh, that will allow us to build the client. But uh, we can we can have a service in the system. For example, if we have inspection service, which has some kind of price, or the price can be changed uh, depending on the. Uh, type of inspection so we can add a service to the ticket it can be service ticket and then out of this ticket we run the inspection so the system understands that this inspection is related to a client's job because the ticket has all the uh, client's name locations etc and and time on it so we connect this inspection to the client's job and we can invoice the client with this inspection service so Short answer is yes, we can invoice the client with his inspection expenses. Uh, thank you, Gleb. And I do not see any more questions for now. Okay, then we can move on. And uh, the next uh, point of our presentation will be is um, equipment repair. Because as we have already said, the repair uh, in, in most cases is the natural uh, consequence of the inspection. So when we see that something has been damaged, we, we do the repair. And again, as I already said, all the actions in the in rigor are done by a particular document for the uh, equipment repair. We have a repair card document. So basically, rigor system um, does the uh, repair cards for individual unit numbers. So if we have, for example, we inspect five units and at the location if and we found out that two units uh require repairs we generate two repair cards for each individual uh unit i mean one card for one unit and this event i mean repair will be captured by the system and recorded to the history of a particular unit number so we can track this history and see for each unit number in the unit number card how many repairs and when it would, and it was done uh, for, in a historical manner. So the repair workflow is pretty simple, but uh, there are two ways how we can do the repairs and I'm gonna show it a little bit later uh, on the practical side. So how we generate repair cards, but basically it can be done uh, as a result of the client's job, and we generate the repair card uh, from the 
uh, rental ticket return or rental ticket service or maintenance. And the, the other way is just to uh, generate repair cards uh, for the units that are at our internal location. So the repair card will be generated and the unit number will get the status need repair. So it means that it's not available for the dispatch. It's somehow locked for the dispatch. And then once the repair card is done and we, we can add uh, repair services to this card to reimburse this uh, for the, to the customer, or we can even have parts and consumables that were consumed during this repair activity and again, bill it to the customer. So once the repair card is done, the unit started uh, switch to the available status and it's ready to be dispatched for the next uh, job. And uh, the system will capture this um, repair card and include it in the rental invoice for the customer. So again, a uh, repair card can be both billable, uh, so either billable or not billable. Let me show you how to generate a repair ticket in Rigor. Basically, the system allows you to use two ways how to put the rental equipment into need repair status. The first way is through the delivery ticket with the type return. Once the dispatcher generates the delivery ticket return, he will be able to select the condition of the rental equipment. Rigor allows you to select from the good, need repair, damage or lost conditions. When the dispatcher selects the need repair condition and posts the delivery ticket return, the system generates the related repair ticket automatically. We can find this document in the related documents and we can open up. In the repair ticket, we have two options how we proceed with this repair, whether it will be billable to the customer or it will be internal repair that will not be reflected on the customer invoice. In case we need to reimburse our repair costs from the customer, we just leave a billable check mark. And on the repair ticket, we can add any related parts or services, and we can specify the price of these services. In order to put parts in the table, we need to have these parts entered in beforehand to the system. Also, we can select the repair shop and repair person who does the repair and repair location. We can change the date of this document and once the repair is done and everything is re reflected on the document, including the comments about this repair, we can select the repair date in time and we post the repair ticket. In order to check the unit number status, which is changing by the dates and by different documents, we can go to the equipment document and uh, availability dashboard. We can find this unit and we see that October 1st, it was available. On October 5th, it was deployed. And October 6th, it was need repair. Once we've done the repair ticket, October 8th, the October 8th status is available. It means that repair is done and our unit is able is available for the next dispatching. If we'd like to invoice the customer with the cost of repairs, we can generate an invoice right from the repair ticket and this cost will be included in this invoice. If we decide not to charge the client with the, with the repair costs, we select the internal option and we unselect the billable option. It means that this repair will be only for our internal costs and it will not go to the customer's invoice. We can find all our repair tickets in the oil field rentals menu under the repairs section. We can go to the repair tickets list and we can find our repair tickets here. The second way how to generate a repair ticket in rigor is through the defective units list. This is the case when you realize that you have to repair some units that are stored in your workshop and you need to put it in the repair shop. So we go to defective units list and we create a new document. 
we put the date of this document and time. We specify the repair location and we add the equipment that needs to be repaired. We can put any description that, that is required for the repair shop about this unit. After the equipment is added to the defective units list, we post this document and we click on Generate RTS button, which will generate a repair ticket for this particular unit. We can go to this repair ticket from here and perform other actions that are required in our repair operations. A rigor system also allows you tracking the time of the uh, people that are doing the repairs and um, every single person can be tracked by adding it to the list and uh, specifying the number of hours uh, and again we can have an ability to set the billable hours uh, to the customer um, which which required uh, to complete the repair and payable hours uh, to the employee uh, for these repair activities. Now let's move on and let's take a look quickly at the reports that are uh, available uh, for the dispatchers or operations teams in terms of repairs and inspections. Okay, thank you, Gleb. Let's talk about the reports that we have. We're gonna discuss three reports in the system for today. The first one would be the list of repair cards. Uh, now, I just want to emphasize one thing that uh, repair tickets is the old name and the repair card is the new name of the same document. We just decided to rename the document in the system. So in the newer versions of Rigor, the repair tickets will be called repair cards. Okay, so the list of the repair cards, what it is, is it's just basically a list of all the repaired cards that we have in the system that uh, shows the document number by all of this information. So let's uh, take a peek at it. We have the document information and we have the status of the repair card, whether it's open or uh, it's already done. We have the in, uh, internal and billable uh, check marks selected or unselected in here reflected. And we've got the client information. Now, if we do not have the uh, client information, this also means that the uh, repair ticket is internal. Uh, otherwise, we will have the RSA number that, ha that was uh, used to generate this repair ticket from within and the location of the rental unit. Then we, then we move to the repair section of the report. It uh, shows us the location, the date, and the destination information for the repair. And uh, you can see that we have selected our main shops and the dates are not selected because the repair is not done yet. Then we have the actual information about the rental unit and the unit numbers that are used for that particular line or the ticket that is actually in place. This is the repair, uh, the list of repair reports. Uh, and let's go to the next one, which is the need repair report. Now need repair, as you remember, is a status of the item in our system. And this report particularly shows the rental unit by its unit numbers uh, pertaining to that current status. So the rental unit is grouped by the serial number and its location. And you can see that all the information is provided in the manner that you can see that, that which document or the rental ticket has created it. You can see the date. You can have the comment if those have been uh, inputted by the creator. And you can see the client for whom this uh, rental unit or particular item, the unit number was used uh, before, the, uh, get, before getting the need repair status. Let's move on to the next report. And this is the rental unit technical report, which does not only reflect information about ref, uh, repairs, but it also reflects other information like inspection cards, uh, etc. So the uh, information is grouped by the rental unit. And uh, furthermore, it, can, it drills down to the unit number. Then we move on to the document type that uh, was a trigger for this action. The document number, the date, the status, the RSA number, the RSA date, the client, etc. You uh, can see all that on your screen. So the main purpose of this uh, report is to provide an in-depth information, in-depth technical information about the particular uh, document that was uh, used. I mean, uh, a particular document that was in the stage of repair or in the or in the stage of inspection, and it provides information about how much uh, amount was charged to the client. I guess this is everything about the reports. 
Okay, good. Thank you very much, Arsene. And uh, we've come to the second Q&A session of this presentation because we've covered pretty much everything that we wanted to show you today in, in regards to the uh, rental equipment inspections and repairs. And if you have any questions, please uh, write it down and, and just open the uh, Q&A section, uh, Q &A section in your Zoom controls or you can send us a private message or just a regular message in chat with your questions. Uh, we actually do have a question now. Uh, so the question is, uh, can we charge the client with the repair cost? Yes, uh, definitely we can. So as, as I've showed a couple of minutes ago, so the repair card can be, bo can be billable or uh, not billable or just internal. So, and that will allow us to, uh, to include the repair costs to the uh, final rental invoice for the customer, or we can also invoice, uh, we can issue the rental, sorry, repair invoice to the customer with only repair costs. Okay, and uh, one more question. Uh, can we run repair in field at client's location? Yeah, that's that's a great question, and that's actually was a quite recent development of uh, Rigor system. So we just added this feature recently, and yes, it does allow to uh, to do the repair for the equipment that is running on the location, and um, actually this is a separate type of the repair card, which is called infilled. So, um, and you'll be able to do the repair and generate the repair card in the field, but the unit will stay at the location and the rental period uh, will be uh, calculated for these days if it's uh, a case for the client. Uh, but again, if, if you need to remove this unit from the location, you can just run the uh, re rental ticket return, select the condition need repair, and then do a regular repair in your shop. But still answering the question, yes. Uh, so we, we can do the infield repairs by having a repair cart with the type infield. Uh, thank you, Gleb. Uh, that's all questions I have for the moment. Uh, anyway, if you have more questions, you can always contact us or you can uh, visit our site uh, to book your personalized uh, free demo. You can see the link on the screen now, so just feel free to contact us in any way uh, that feels better for you. And um, thank you very much for your attention today. Uh, please join us next week. We'll have a next webinar uh, next week. I will send you invitations. Uh, there is soon. Uh, thank you so much for your attention and have a great day. Yeah, thank you very much to you all who attended this webinar today and thank you the Rigor team for this presentation. We'll stay in touch and we'll see you next time on October 10th. Bye. Bye.